What's up? This is your boy Super and I'm playing NMS, No Man's Sky on the PS5, the newest expedition pole star. I don't remember precisely what we were doing in the last video, but I know it's a bunch of new game nonsense, resource gathering, tutorializing. We seem to search this one, but we sure did not. There's two things in here. We need a lot of equipment before we can get to the important things. That's what we would do. They've, this is the, the hardest expedition due to the fact that they start with the least amount of things. We've basically got a clean slate. We have to install everything, create, craft everything, scavenge for everything. The ship's in good condition. Our malt is not as bad as our so soup, but it's pretty it's not bad. We need a bunch of carbon really. It's a big thing we need. But uranium's good for ship on your ship. So we'll take that for sure. Ferrite dust. We're gonna need we don't it's not very urgent right now. We could do with a stack, and that'll probably last us more than half of the expedition, I would imagine. Depends on how how much you want to upgrade. But it'd be better if you did, and a lot of those ones require ferrite dust. We've got enough, and we're, we barely had any carbon, and I just wasted on it. Laser beam. It's not going good. We're gonna need like 200 carbon. I'm not even exaggerating or anything. We're gonna need a shit ton of carbon. Like right now, before we can progress. Do this shit like now. Let's just look. Bring these up. Oxygen. That's a lot of oxygen. It's a stack of oxygen that glowing red. If it was just
Damn, my mic was muted. I was talking gibberish about the, the oxygen count. I thought a stack was 250. Turns out that's only on permadeath. Whatever the hell mode we're on now, a stack is obviously more because we've got 300. But 300 is what I was hoping for. And we've also got a bunch of carbon while doing that. So I think we're not enough carbon, but we got carbon. So I'm happy with the situation. That's what I said! Yeah! It's so weird hearing, like, when I go check to make sure my microphone jack isn't glitching or bugging out, like, I can, I can speak into the microphone and plays it back while it's live, so it, it's really trippy, you can get mess around with echoes and the reverb and everything, it's wild. I used to, I used to be, used to rap and make music and sing and th things like that, and like, Use Fruity Loops to make some techno beats, baby. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Looking for me ship. Hi. Hi. This place is so devoid of carbon. It's unreal. And I bet you this is like a paradise planet. Or, a, you know... A, close to, but no, fuck, there's, there's some carbon, we're gonna need a thousands of carbon, like three or four hundred immediately, and then another, then the rest of it throughout our journey, wouldn't mind some sodium as well, and here it is, I need to recharge now, Actually, we should probably just run to our ship now, so we don't have to lose, use any sodium. That's smart thinking, ya boy. Still waiting on the super part, but you know. In the ship we go. Oh, we can't take, we can take off our ships in great condition. We need, gonna need like six carbon nanotubes. We're gonna start out with three. Then condensed carbon for our neural stimulator, which has increased our jetpack capacity. And our recharge rate and our sprint distance and our sprint recovery time. That's an awesome improvement to our gear. We need chromatic metal we don't have. That was about it. Good suit. Starship has nothing. We're good to chew there. Carbon nanotube is two. The parts ray manipulator, which is kind of valuable. We need two more for the bolt caster, which is a weapon. So it should, should be pretty obvious the value of those. So we don't have any more carbon. Being that this is a game that doesn't highlight any combat, just your environmental survival should show you the value. In case you didn't know, so multi tool we got. We need one more. We need 30 more carbone. Well, now we need a lot more than 30 carbone. Well, no, we've had some condensed carbon. I was going to say because we got to use carbone. To refuel our mining beam. And now the plants have disappeared. What I do like is how every plant we we destroy for carbon, we're getting oxygen. That is awesome. Like, if you're playing a survival or permadeath run, and you need oxygen constantly because it's to recharge your life support, because it takes a while for you to repair your ship before you can go and buy some life support gel. Well, well, well. Sucks when you go to the 
to the PS5 menu, the game doesn't keep going. I mean, if I bet you you would die, but our meters didn't recharge. So that's kind of kind of upsetting, but not for this game. Any other game, it'd be a big deal, but not for this one. Because there's no pause when you go to you do go go to this things. Did they switch it? Like the the fan in our cockpit in the background is still spinning. Like normally, maybe this is not permadeath or survival. Maybe I'm tripping. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm used to playing permadeath and survival. One more carbon. Good God. Because every time I thought I paused it and went to the suspend menu and went to look at my downloads or something, I'd come back, come back and be dead. That happened on. A, it might even happen on a a series, a permadeath series I was playing, recording and putting on YouTube. And now they don't want they they don't want to recharge our meters while I'm looking at my downloads. What the fuck? It's got to be just the game mode. Where are all our carbon plant? Carbon, carbon. Where did it go? I lost it. There we go. That one carbon. That's all we need. Come to daddy, daddy. Carbone. More right. What a joke of a resource. Chromatic metal. Okay, so we need chromatic metal. Dihydrogen jelly we might be able to make. We just, yes, we can. Awesome. We're going to need car chromatic metal for multiple things. 100, that's 200. 300. 350. 350. 350 chromatic metal. We're just going to destroy this. Break down the geode. We also need any sodium. We can put the uranium on our ship. Put the dihydrogen on our ship. When first things first, chromatic metal or condensed carbon. Hmm. I know there's perfect. Uh, there's silver. We need silver. I don't remember what we need silver for. I just remember what. To, to harvest the silver, we need the terrain manipulator. Okay, we have the terrain manipulator. Yeah, when we first... Uh, it's right there in the bottom right corner of the screen. It just disappeared. It said you need 60 silver for something. I don't remember what it was for. It could never have... It never hurt to have some extra. I, I'm not sure. If, I don't remember if we can refine it to chromatic metal. If so, that'd be pretty cool. We don't have a refiner. Son of, son of a bitch. Now we need two more jellies. We can do that. Let's get into some cover first. Not only is it a hazardous planet, it's a storm now. We can also grab this technology module for some money. Or upgrades. This seems like a, a, an expedition you would need upgrades because it, they start you out with nothing. What do they want me to do? Dihydrogen times two. Gold. What do we make? A refiner room for our freighter. Oh my god, we didn't need to do any of this nonsense. We need a refiner of some sort. Our personal refiner needs chromatic metal. So that means we need to build a portable refiner first. That we need a metal plating. We should have plenty of ferrite dust. Requires 50 ferrite dust for a metal plating. And we have a refiner. Now can we ref now we gotta lose our carbon. Can we refine silver to chromatic metal? No. Can I don't we don't have anything we can refine to chromatic metal, I don't think. We don't. And we need more carbon. So I'm surely, surely there's copper on this planet. There's copper on every planet. And if there's not copper on every, then there's something else that substitutes for copper. Uranium. <coughs> Let's go grab us some uranium. Uranium. Fuel for our ship.
beautiful. I submit. I'm not even. I'm not even joking. Like, I've got. I have to buy a new PS5 controller. I got. I've sold one, and I got another one sitting right here. The microphone, headphone jacks are terrible on these things. Where did this god, gosh darn, resource go? There it is. You run them. I think 2,000 uranium might get us through the expedition. Might even be extra. Uh, we're not gonna get 2,000 though. This is boring as hell. Might just make the, the beam bigger and harvest more at once. Is that 213 that's not much not much at all while we were doing that I did see some carbon plants I think yeah so I did now I know what they look like the little ear canal plants here we're gonna need tons and tons of carbon carbonium I bet you that's a real element Sounds like a freaking ear, ear canal too. Carbonium in the ear canal. Sounds like a perfect pair. So we need copper. Copper. Just 500 units away. It's a bit too far to please me. Another one for 500 units away. Another one for 500 units away. They've added a sound effect to your mapper, your waypoint there. I don't, I don't know when, but it hasn't always been there for sure. Copper, that was near and dear to our ship, so we'll go to that one. We're gonna need to recharge our life support with all this handy dandy oxygen. Good time to save. This is such like we're doing like the. We're doing the t getting like the smallest, trivialest, tedious tasks out of the way rather quickly. I'm happy, making a lot of progress just by harvesting all this, ca all this carbon, copper, whatever. So no silver, we just need it for one thing. But we're gonna need like this is a freighter expedition, and, and if, to, to build anything on your freighter, you need tons and tons of silver. So. That wasn't that big. That was a. That was also a wise decision to harvest all the silver. But that wasn't silver we were harvesting. That was uranium for fuel for our ship. Okay. Well, this is one expedition where if you accidentally find yourself harvesting silver like we did, you should keep going because we're gonna need tons of it. This is copper. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need thousands of this. We need 600 chromatic metal, that means we need... We need 300 chromatic metal, that means we need 600 copper. So this, re, this, this deposit should give us 600. We're getting now uh, copper. 98, okay, maybe it won't give us 600, but it'll be close. Yeah, buddy. So like, they did, they did rework the mi the terrain manipulator and the mining aspect of the game before. You had three different mining beams. If you use the big one, you get less resources, but it mines it faster. And the middle one was an equal amount of resources to speed, and the smallest one was a bunch of resources, but it took a long time. 
but it was really buggy and everything. And then when they fixed it, I thought all the mining beams gave you the same amount of resources, but I stand corrected. I mind corrected. I'm glad they don't make you do it all with the small mining beam, that's for certain. Everybody who makes videos would hate that shit, man. Purposely wasting our, our time with boring ass tedium. Where we at now? 300? Yeah, we're, easy. we're gonna get more than 600. We could get about 900 to 1,000 from this file. Both show. Probably at 400 now. 374, not far from 400. Yeah, this is definitely turning into a expedition I would like to make a main save. Not because of the rewards. There's other expeditions that had better rewards, like the, the one that gave you the Golden Vector, the S-Class Multi-Tool, the S-Class Freighter. The S one of them gave you S-Class every fucking thing, and that one was the one everybody wanted to turn into a permanent playthrough. But, but you, you, you can't, no, you can't get all those the rewards, though. 500, okay, we'll see. We might go up to seven. Okay, I'm hungry here. Seven, right? Six. 594, okay, that's way less. I thought we were going to be at like 670 or something. So we're, we're only going to get like 800 out of here. It may be less than 800. We're not doing the whole thing, though. We're going to go about 750. We need to recharge our jet our hazard protection. What are we at? 662, we're not even going to 750, honestly. We're going to 700, and that's it. I ain't got no more time for this nonsense. That's got to be 7-something. It is 7-something. I can't see. Yeah, like, I got a bunch of dust in my contacts today. I'm gonna put all this copper into a refiner. It's like bittersweet to gather all this precious metal and then destroy it, you know what I mean? I got to move. Like a black IP song, I can't remember. Our ship's still on fire, even though it's fully repaired. What's going on with that, my man? Ski. Refiner. Carbon. Capel. All right. So I went to the PS. I quote unquote suspended the game. Yeah, it was refining while I had the game quote unquote pause for sure. Cool. That's weird how the other one, you know, just earlier it didn't. That's fucked. Fucked is what we got. Three hundred chromatic metal let's take the two right now start with our personal refiner here 
in our inventory, which is the awesome, ingenious mother of pearl invention. And our neurostimulator, which goes with our jetpack. These two aren't synergizing, so let's move this one out of there. Move these, this one there. Do we still, we don't have, we don't have enough for that shit. That was a dumb idea. What about our hazmat take on this? Okay, now we need to turn our sodium into sodium nitrate. What do we need? Chromatic metal right there. Okay, so we didn't need 600. We needed a little bit less than that. So let's put our sodium in here. Just more carbon. Yeah, we're low on sodium for sure. This can go on our starship. What, what doesn't belong in our starship? Chromatic metal. Tritium goes in the high capacity of our starship. Jelly can go and stay there. Silicate powder can go in our suit's high capacity. Along with ferrite dust. Now we don't have any room. Okay, so we need a bunch of sodium. Need a bunch of sodium. I'm going to be taking a break. I can't constantly keep checking in the system settings to make sure my mic's still working. I've got to get a new controller. I'm running too far for the sodium. There's more I've got to grab before their icons disappear. There they are, far, far away. <laughs> Wish there was a way to refine or increase sodium like you do with that. Expand, expand sodium. Open up the molecule slots, baby. I'm coming in. Now I'm never gonna fucking fight. There's two. There's the Leviathan. I've never really fully explored. Oh, because all the reward was after the Leviathan expedition was you get them as frigates that you can't control, and that's fr frigates are pretty lame as a reward for anything. Like, if the, if you have to do an action to earn something, that in turn that thing you earn should have actions associated. You, you should do actions with that thing. Like, if you have to do quests and shit. To get a multi-tool, you should be able to shoot and use the multi-tool. You shouldn't have to do a fucking 17-hour long expedition to get a ship that you can't even fly. You know what I mean? I was upset by that. And the album doesn't turn out this way, that way for this expo. Expa. There's no O in expedition, pardon me. So I think I'm gonna have I think I'm gonna have to take a break. So we got some sodium nitrate. Nitrate, I work with chemical I work with nitric acid. That's how you turn things into nitrate. So hazmat gauntlets well i don't really give a fuck about the hazmat gauntlets i thought i was going to be upgrading yeah this right here shield lattice well both of those can wait why am i in such a hurry is there really nothing else the bolt caster okay well let's let's do it. what are, what are we doing let's pick let's pick this up let's get the fuck on i got distracted sorry constructor refinery room okay so that was something we should be working towards. I'm happy to hear that. Pardon me. I'm glad I thought we were just going off track. Now we got to head up to our freighter and craft it. We've got all the resources. I don't know where we got the gold from. There it be, right in front of us. We've already discovered this. Why are you telling me again? Let's just summon it. Oh, that's too far away. Oh, we're too close to the planet. Fucking might as well pulse to it. Yeah, I definitely got to break me off a piece. Got to, got to, got to, got to get it while it's good. Get it while it's good. This is a, this is a new freighter design, isn't it? 
it, it, if it is new, it's a, a remake of what has already been in the game. And all the inside is shockingly new and innovative and cool, awesome. Yeah, after we complete this milestone, definitely breaking it off for you. Breaking it off in you. For so, for so. Now, I don't even know how to build rooms in these new freighters. This, this is wild. We'll find a room. Right there. This is, they've never had refiner rooms in, in any other aspect of the game. It's just the large refiner, so yeah, okay, that makes sense. I think it's a good thing to have, it's really cool, but... What the fuck is this? Plus our rewards and everything, what do we got? Storage room blueprints for our freighter, yeehaw, those are old. And we got a warp hypercore, that's cool. Uh, next is warp with your capital ship. I don't even know if we have a, a warp engine, a hyperdrive. And I'm fucking lost. I don't want to go outside. I don't know what the purpose is of outside, but we, we do need this carbon in from here. So trio of plant shells vertically, okay. Must have already harvested that one. Got our walls. Oh, there's another one? That's weird. These also trios vertically. This one, see how these two look so different? This one looks ready to fucking harvest. Don't know why it's not letting me. They let us get the wall one. No, they did let us get it. The hitbox was glitched out to where it's over there. This one also looks ready to harvest. That means uh, we're good. We're good. Let's just go. We got this. Here we are. This is where we need to be to warp. Is this panel? Yes, it is this panel. Your boy's back on our freighter here. What kind of milestone are we fixing to complete? Warp with your capital ship, so we've got to get right back out of our ship here, starship. Got to go up. God, I forgot what up the it's what the deck up the the port, the starboard. There was a word for it when you go to the head or go to the hall where everybody's at. I don't remember what it was. Uh, a warp station was right here on the right. Do we have a warp engine? Unless oh, we're not the warp. Not the warp drive. Do we have any warp cells or anything like that? Warp map is right out front, actually. Expedition route, we got hyperdrive damage. So at least we have one. And our freighter, hyperdrive damage, the chromatic metal, antimatter, and antimatter housing. We got a lot of shit on our freighter. Where did it all come from? That's quite, quite the haul we have on here. You can't repair anything to move it. Warp Hypercore, they've changed the graphic for that. And our freighter cargo can go... Our precious metals, our fuel, well, our fuel can actually go into Starship. Our warp stuff can actually go into Starship. Chromatic metal can go in our suit. Augmentation, frigate modules, warp hypercore can warp hyper can, cork can go on our starship wiring them can go on our suit. Cargo bulkhead. No, we can't so we're gonna need a lot of shit, so we actually have to go right back oh it was good to know. We have to actually right go right back out into our spaceship and land on a planet. I'm not really enthusiastic about exploring the, the new rooms in the freighter. I don't like getting lost or I don't like getting confused. And that's all that's gonna come from it. 
but I will take uh, this carbone. Not having simple things is very makes you not want to play the game. You know what I mean? It's very depressing and tedious and. not good so having several stacks of carbon would be awesome we're not gonna get several stacks from this little room but whatever enough's enough this is the way to the ship ah yes it's a fucking beautiful place it's so much bigger in here they've changed the scale there's three sections to the landing pad there's there is now but they've widened the landing pad I think this is huge in here they've done something I'm not I'm not I like it I like it we got about 20 minutes or so I don't understand why our ship's on fire all these beautiful professional intricate complex updates upgrades and everything and they gotta have a bug a noticeable bug like and not just as a, a noticeable bug it's a bug that you're gonna see every five minutes the whole time you're playing the game our ship's on fire and it's all it's not broken well we need we need about a thousand copper I'd say maybe more really we can, we can get some uranium and silver that doesn't it's not a bad idea the only bad thing about it is it's something I would rather do off camera because obviously this is all about the freighters. So, we're obvious, and freighters require a lot of silver to upgrade, so we're obviously gonna need a lot of silver because we're gonna be doing, a lot of our milestones are gonna involve building things on freighters. You may have not known, but now you do. Shoobity doo, shoobity boo. With our ship full of fuel. Yes, it's fine. This is the same planet we couldn't find any carbon on. Fairy dust everywhere. But it looks like it's a, a plant based planet, so you would think there would be carbon. But then when you realize it's all just rocks, like what the fuck? I thought this is a paradise planet. We made a wise decision getting this terrain manipulator so early. Tell you what. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Definitively. Already a pain. So what we can do to speed things up a little is start refining it down to chromatic metal. Nice big deposit. I'm, I'm happy about that. Maybe this one deposit might give us all we need for the whole expedition. After we get some of these fundamental upgrades and things, warp cells made, we'll probably never need to do this again. Which is fine by me. It's weird how every Ollie multi tool also overheat, but a terrain manipulator doesn't overheat. Seems like it should. Oh, 
about time for a refill, I'd say. There's no point in even in checking what we need while we're down here. We need to just gather a large amount and, and leave. Because most of our things are on our freighter or on our ship and not in our suits. So which makes it extra tedious and inconvenient. Well, I think I'm ready for the challenge. Yeah, it's pretty looking at the big resource deposit of copper. It's really pretty. What are we up to now? Like 400, 500? At least. This is a big, chunky boy. For sure. He slipped, that's why I paused. He stopped mining. I think it's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of realism in games. I'm a big, like I think I'm even a fan of realism so much, so much that so that it negatively, neg negatively impacts the visuals. Not so much the gameplay, because like, I don't want it to ruin my fun. But visuals-wise, yeah, like. Like if you're playing a character that is drunk, his vision to be so realistic and so wobbly and so messed up that it's it's real, but it makes it hard to play the game. That's I like that stuff for sure. For sure. I think I might. Well, I have to. I have a time limit on the expedition. I was gonna say I might just take a break until I get my control mic situation fixed, but. We got two months to complete the expedition, and knowing my schedule and my and the way I where I get busy and everything, I'm gonna need to focus on doing it, I'm not wasting any time. Order it and then keep recording until it gets here. Thinking about getting a colored one or something. I'm not sure. I'm at 270 plus 40. Not much as I was hoping. It's about to be night. Getting hungry. I still haven't even ordered another replacement controller, let alone sell my other broke, two broken ones, you know what I mean? Like, like, for my first one, I sold it immediately. As soon as I got my new one, I sold the other one. Then, when that one broke, I ordered another one and I decided to keep my broken one. Just in case is a backup in case the new one broke, which it did. And now I've just been procrastinating about fixing the situation. I don't like to spend money all the time. Okay. What are we up to now? 441. This, that means we've got already over 900 copper from this re resource. But we might have started with 150 or so chromatic metals. So that means we've got about 600 copper so far, 700 copper just from this one location.
We do. We also got to worry about all our meters and everything. All our meters and everything, baby. We also needed another resource besides chromatic metal, but I don't know quite what it was. We can look, I'm sure, on our freighter to repair our warp pipe. Of course, we need antimatter, chromatic metal, and antimatter housing. For the antimatter, you need chromatic metal, and I forget what else. For the antimatter, you need housing, you need ferrite dust, and something else. Let's take a look. Chromatic metal, we got the chromatic metal, condensed carbon. What about the antimatter housing, oxygen, and ferrite dust? Okay, so we're probably going to need more oxygen, some more condensed carbon, at least. Our ferrite dust situation is fine. Our chromatic metal situation is all right. And we're still right here mining more, so. Always use silicate powder to re refuel your terrain manipulator. You're gonna use other the other things you can use to refill it for other things. Yeah, we definitely got like a thousand copper out of here at least. Well, how's the saying go? I'm, I'm not happy to see you go, but I'm glad to see you leave or something. You know, just so they can look at your part. I don't remember. There's no oxygen near our ship, from what I can tell. It's unfortunate. There should, there should be some carbon. These things. And oxygen. Carbon and oxygen. Woo! Fuck yeah, baby. Multitasking. Who's a zoomer now? <laughs> it's probably enough for our immediate intentions. But it's also a reoccurring need for just to mine in general like for the most basic generalist part of the gameplay you need copper carbon so you can't go wrong with harvesting it so now our chromatic metals now we got more to, more to load here once it's turned into chromatic metal we can't get it back so i'm thinking we leave that little bit as copper Yes, indeed, and then we take the carbon. We are at 872 carbon. Let's make that condensed carbon. So in our suit, we need sodium nitrate and chromatic metal. We've got both of those. And then we need sodium nitrate and antimatter. We can make an antimatter, I think. Are we missing the condensed carbon? Okay, we can make it now. Might as well make a bunch. Now we want to put antimatter in here. Sodium is not a bad idea because we still don't have the blueprint for the ion batteries, so we're going to need sodium. For hazard protection. This isn't going to give us much, just this plant or two here. And our inventory is full. What can we ditch? Raw steak. That's, a, that's a, a decent source of money. But we need the room. What are we grinding out in here? Dense carbon. Now we need to take the sodium to another level. Not enough sodium. And I fear we're going to need more carbon now. 
for our immediate intentions. I hate hunting for sodium. We might as well just go to the sodium and then summon our ship to us instead of trying to backtrack. We've got the launch fuel. Nice amount over here. Flashlight's really a nuisance on this planet when it comes to looking for sodium. Sodium glows yellow and flashlight shines right on it. You can't even see it. Those are fine the rest down. 46, that was a decent amount. That might be enough for our purposes. Damn, we need 27 more. There's some over there. Some right here. It takes two sodium for one sodium nitrate. We just picked up 15 sodium, so that's only seven and a half. Another plant over here, but I can't find it. Here it is. Another 15. Yes, so you can hardly tell where the sodium is with this fucking flashlight. It's weird because it never used to be this bad. I don't even I don't know what has changed. We need to find a a big pile of sodium where you can pick up stacks of it. Like we did with the oxygen before. There's a little bit. And a little bit on before or afterwards. See that glowing yellow and then the glowing yellow. I see third one. Where's the second one at? Okay, I see it. This should definitely be enough. I don't think that is a sodium plant. Yeah. Okay, now let's see. Yeah, yeah, we definitely have enough now. What I like about things like the sodium nitrate is that you can refine it to sodium nitrate, then you can refine it back to just sodium. So you never lose in that situation. Still five short. You can get five easy. Boom, now it's our hazmat gauntlets. We got hazard protection, we got shield. Shield belongs in this category over here. Perfect. Now, now on our starship, everything's fine already, and our multiple, everything's fine, and our freighter, we need. We need antimatter housing, which we have. Magnetic resonator and wiring loom. We can't make wiring looms. And I don't think we have the blueprint for magnetic resonators. I know wiring looms are any, pla any place that has a terminal you can buy wiring looms, looms from most of the time. But the magnetic resonator is going to be a little more difficult to find. I think we're just about out of time anyway. Close enough. This has been your boy Super Player No Man's Sky Expedition 9 Polestar. Hope you enjoyed it. it. Would help me out a lot if you could like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah.